hello and welcome back to my channel Tarot with Emery. It's all about tarot tuition and this evening we are looking at the strength card. So we'll be looking at this major arcana card and what does it mean? What's the symbology, colours, anything you want to know? Um, my name's Anne Marie and I have been a tarot reader for a very long time and I've collated a lot of bits and pieces over the years that have made me a consultant and I read and I teach it. So I'm sharing it here with you on YouTube. What does this card actually mean? Strength works in conjunction with the astrological sign of Leo. Leo. How lovely is Leo? So there are a lot of Leo aspects going on with the strength card. So if you know any Leos, there's a head start for you. Think about who that Leo is, how they behave, what's their personality like, how do they handle situations. They're usually really lovable people. And even if you've got it in one of your, whether it's not your sun sign or your moon sign or your rising sign, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and have a look at your natal chart on our website. The Leo side of us is also connected to the fifth house. And that in astrological terms is Leo, but that's also about our inner child within us and it's the inner child in all of us you know, it's the one that wants to be pure and innocent and have fun and play and laughter and do things that are just good feel good and sometimes not take any responsibility but then there's the duality of that and that's having temper tantrums and outbursts so if you think about that this is a little bit about how this card actually works it's also connected because it's the fifth house and if you don't know what that means, go and have a look at my courses. I teach you all about the aspects of the houses, the position, how to work with pairs. It's also about our passions. It's also about our physical vitality. Vitality, not health. You could um, assume by looking at this card that things are healthy. So this is a card that represents the inner and outer strength in all of us, mostly about courage and the number eight is about progress where we have walked the boards of life's experience within certain aspects so let's just say why that is number one let's look at the belt that our figure is wearing it's full of flowers it's around her waist and it goes down the side into her leg down onto the floor and hits the grass what that symbolically means is she is grounded the grass that's telling it's grounded she is using purity she is using the aspects of nature to guide her logically because it's the side of her and if we look it would be her left side that's dealing with the logical side of things she also has a garland in her hair um, that's like a crown, but it's not a gold crown for her. It's made of nature's flowers again, showing that she is grounded in her logic. So she is using that groundedness and she is using that ability. This is also a card that really is about fortitude and fortitude is often about perseverance, trust, faith, rather than anything spectacular or dramatic. It can be a card of beating addictions. Also, part of beating ad addictions is the fact that we are looking at the logical side of things and how we've got the courage and the bravery and the strength, and it's an inner strength. It's also it is a physical strength, but that would depend on a combination of the cards and the placement in your spread. If you had positive cards and if you had it in a certain place. It's about courage to be able to battle things. But look at that. Look at that figure, that woman. She's wearing white. What does that signify? It's about purity. The strength card, this woman's gently stroking a lion. And she's got her hand on its forehead and its jaw. It's a bit like keeping the lid on powerful emotions. But let's explain the lion. The lion is the duality, persona of our figure. So if we're reading for you 
and you get this and you're asking all about you, the, you're the woman, but you're also the lion. And the lion is the wild animal. It's capable, it's the king. It's a symbol of raw passion and desire and she's taming it. So that's taming ourselves. Even though this lion is quite ferocious, the woman's tamed this wild beast. How? Because she's got a calming, loving energy. Who is the wild beast? Let's assume it's the person having the reading. Okay? She's using that calm to, to keep a lid on it with both hands. Now, what do you think would happen if she lets go? If she moves her hands away, what's going to happen? Leo. They are amazing people. They look strong. They look capable. And if you know about a Leo, bring that into the strength card because that's where you will get everything. Really and truly what this card is about, reaching into the duality of yourself. One side of you is the lion that's roaring, that wants to actually kick off. The other side of you is the figure that's in white, that's gentle, that's pure, that's innocent, that's grounded, that's logical, that's protected by the symbol of infinity there, which is representing her infinite uh, potential and wisdom. And this woman is gently putting the lion's sort of jaw and <laughs> head like that, as in put a lid on the powerful emotions. Keep a lid on it. Basically, calmness will win the day. It's not this kind of strength and it's not this kind of strength. It's, yes, of course you're going to turn around and roar like the lion occasionally. But in this particular thing, place, time, space that you're asking about, you need to keep a lid on the powerful emotions because logic and groundedness will win the day for you. Look at the mountains in the background. They are some of the challenges, but she's turned her back. She knows that there. The past isn't going to help her. She's faced with now. And although she's got experience from the past, she doesn't turn around and go, what shall I do? But they're blue. Blue is communication. So she's communicating um, to the challenges of what's happened in the past and communicating with herself logically. Why the garland on the head, the garland around the waist, the purity, you know, trying to do this with grace and style. That's the purity. And you know what? She's trying to calm it with a loving energy. And we know that the lion is a symbol of raw passion and desire. And in taming him, the woman shows the animal that the animal instinct and raw passion can be expressed positively with inner strength and resilience being applied. Okay? She doesn't use force or coercion. She channels her inner strength to subdue and subtly control the lion. The lion is her. If you're reading for yourself, it's you. It's both aspects of you. It's all about the fact of being able to recognize those aspects of you. And if you know a little bit about your rising or your moon or your sun and or some of your friends just their sun signs or star signs if you're confused and you're right at the beginning. You don't need to go and have heavy astrology, but the more you know, the easier it will get. I if you don't let the lion out occasionally, it's going to destroy you. It's, you have to be able to sometimes, but there's a right time and a wrong time. And some people say, oh, there's never a right time, but there is a wrong time. Strength is about compassion, it's about courage, it's about inner strength, bravery. Strength is the inner strength, it's strength in virtue, it's domination over some of our old fears. And it's using that gentleness, like the woman, to have a subtle influence and how to get on top of a situation by taming, 
the adversary. Now on Tuesday we'll be looking at this card and combining and asking questions using cards and fusing them together so we can build up a mini reading just by using pairs. The dark side of Leo is, take care it's going to tell us, they are explosive, okay? They are drama queens. <laughs> they are, listen to me, <laughs> boom, I know, and poof, they explode. Not quite like Aries. Aries is Mars. Wow, that's a war. Mars coming at you, yeah? Which you've understood. But Leo is the inner child again. They can be calm and collected, gracious, elegant, making it look easy. Inwardly, they can be terrified. I bet she's terrified. She can't stay there forever. She's grounded. She knows that. But for the duration of this, She's not going to let the drama or the explosion or the kind of roar of the lion beat her. That's an aspect. It's knowing when and how much force. There's a strong demeanour. She looks absolutely calm and collected. She's gently persuading. Even difficult people, this person can be persuasive. They get people to do things with a good heart. Oh, they're charming. They're like children, playful. They're also compassionate. They're secure in who they are. And they have a fortitude, as in people that are Leos, and the meaning of this card is uh, astrologically associated and linked with Leo, know about courage through pain and adversity. And they are serene and assured. But when things go the other way, we see the line. Can't be tamed. Can get unkind. They don't go with their meekness to triumph. They want to get on top of a situation and say, you know what, listen to me. Look at that. Hurting a Leo's ego is hard for them. Hurting a Leo's ego. And you know, the strength card is trying to keep the ego away. Okay, this is what they're trying to do. Strength in virtue, inner strength, courage, domination over the fears, and really trying hard to be compassionate. So we're seeing this woman here with this garland of flowers tied around her waist and the flowers in her hair. And her white dress is symbolic of her innocence and her motives and her purity. That infinity symbol suggests that things have no beginning and no end. It's a cycle of life. What goes round comes round and there's time to shall pass. Okay, it's also a symbol of protection and I am always doing a figure of eight around me. I want to be protected and I, I do it from head across uh, my chest, underneath my feet, back over the other leg, back up again and over the top of my head. Why? I want to be protected, I want to be grounded and I want to do it with purity, very calmly and with great ease. That's what it's made to look like. If you are calm, cool, correct, uh, collected, and you are serene and show no signs of fear, then you're in a good place. That's what this is suggesting. The yellow background is suggesting that intellect is at play here. And the color of the Leo uh, lion is orange, which is symbolic of our animal instincts. That's why we've got the lion. Okay, and it's about our desires, it's about our passion, it's about our jealousy, it's about our rage, it's about our lust, it's about our temper tantrums. Yeah, and it's also about our inner strength if we can keep a lid on those powerful emotions and be that figure in white. It represents extreme passion. So the lion is symbolic of our animal instincts. And yes, we do sometimes need to keep a lid on our powerful emotions. So they have very, they're very strong in their career of choosing loud over working, always going above and beyond. And sometimes people don't know how to handle that energy. So power dynamics could be an issue. We're talking about Leo here. Let me just say, if we deny our shadow selves, we create in effect the caged animal whose fury and aggressions and passions seethe and grow out of control. And when this shadow lion manages to escape, the consequences can be alarming. So the woman in this card is trying to soothe the lion with her loving touch. But it's the duality of the person having the reading. 
And if we know a Leo, we can go, they are wonderful, they are entertaining, they actually look confident, they look strong, just like the woman. They may get deeply upset, but they may be frightened and timid, even though um, it looks as if she's showing no sign of fear here. The lion's going, oh, I know you mean me no harm because of the way you're handling me. I'm absolutely great here. But she's showing that confidence and exceptional courage. So when it comes up in a reading, tune in on Tuesday and we'll be looking at how to read this card with other cards. We'll be doing pairs. So we fuse it together using another and so we get even more. And that is where you build up. And somewhere along your astrological chart, I urge you look at your natal chart. We've run out of time. This is what you can buy off the website. It's a tarot journal. If you want to buy it, it's downloads on my website. Look, there you go. Your journal is just about making notes and keeping things as in that you want to actually know all about yeah, what you've learned. And the beauty is that you can download it and you can just add page after page. My tarot journal was not fancy like this. It was an exercise book, but I've made this for you. And if you got it, it's perfect. Here's the website. Here are my strength cards. Okay, different ones that I've got. If you use a Rider weight deck, you're going to see, or a Rider weight based deck, shall I say, you will see something like this. This is the borderless version. Something like this. This is Master Tarot deck. Something like this. This is the Winter weight, which I absolutely love. This is the vice versa, which I was showing you. How nifty is that? You actually see the back of what's going on in our strength card. And this is the Groovy Weight deck. Same sort of artist did that. This was a deck that I did back in 2005. No, I didn't. I, I worked with the designer, graphic designer and an artist. I wanted it for my first website. Because look, I'm saying there's not enough symbology. This was to just make a statement. I love symbology. This one is the Romantic Tarot deck, okay, and this is from the same artist, but this is the fantastical Menagerie deck. And this is the Celtic Druid deck. By the way, I've cut that down. It's big like that one. I've got small hands, so I find it quite hard to shuffle wide cards, and um, even though that's what I do. This strength card is fabulous. It's a very modern day image, and this comes from the everyday enchantment deck. My point, okay, if you're getting stuck, all these beautiful cards that I have, and I've got about 60 decks I'll try and show you. If you're going with a right away base deck, you're gonna get a lot of symbology, but even my very favorites, great image, but it's only this one that's got all that symbology we've talked about. By the way, the tail is down underneath the line, submissive. Okay, so remember that it's an aspect of us. Okay, and people do ask again about health and matters. Stay away from health. You can talk about well being, being good mentally and emotionally, spiritually. Some key points it's Leo, it's the inner child, it's about bravery, it's about courage, it's about our hobbies. It's about keeping calm, it's about self-control, and it's symbolic of our animal instincts. I hope that helped you. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>